Hi everyone and welcome back to On The Road With Iona. This is a short game special where I'm going to share with you a little fly on the wall special edition video about how I go about my practice and you're going to come with me. I'm going to use one ball, that's all I'm going to use and I'm going to give myself five different shots around this beautiful chipping green. So I'm just going to start exactly where I am, I'm going to drop the ball down and the first thing I'm going to do always with any chip shot is assess the lie. Now unfortunately this has just fallen into a little bit of a depression and as you can see it's surrounded by grass. Thankfully I've got my 60 degree in my hand, I'm going to use as much loft as possible. So I'm using loft, I'm going to this flag in the middle of this green so I've got green to work with but these greens are very firm so I know it's going to release. I'm also thinking about the wind, downwind at the moment which is going to help the ball on its merry way. So lots of loft, that I need to get a little bit steeper on this ball because it's sitting down in a little bit of a depression. So how do we get steeper on the ball? We can move the ball a little bit further back in our stance. And that's it really. And you see, because I made it a little bit steeper, the ball just popped out a little bit higher. And if you come with me, I'm gonna show you something else that I'm doing in this drill. I've created a little ring around this hole. Let's call this the ring of hope. <laughs> So if I manage to chip any of these five balls within this ring of hope, then I've got a really good chance of getting up and down. How far is this ring of hope? It's five foot. So I've paced out five of my feet, three, four, five, and I've put down tee pegs to create this kind of five foot circumference. And I'm aiming to try and get each of these chip shots within that circle. So that was my first shot. Did I achieve it? Yes, I did. Thank goodness for that. Now I'm gonna give myself something a little bit trickier. Shot number two. Right, we're from the fairway, same flag. Wouldn't necessarily use my 60 degree in this position. I'd, I'd probably de-loft and get the ball running along the green. But the challenge of this exercise is to use the same club for all five shots. So you can do it with all sorts of clubs in the bag. Popping up. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oof. Let's go and see if it's in the circle of hope. Just, only just. Borderline, but gives me a pretty good chance of getting up and down if I had my putter in my hand. So that's two down, let's go to shot number three. This is shot number three and it's absolutely horrible. It's that shot when you're the back of a bunker and you're not in the bunker but it's really sandy underneath the ball. Come round and take a look at how I'm going to approach this. The margin for error here is so small but it's all about strike and trying to nip it off the top. The easiest thing to do is to catch it just a little bit fat and it duffs into the bunker. So the way I always try to nip a shot off the top is by keeping my height Anything could happen here, but this is how I'm going to try it. I'm thinking about a piece of string coming through my head. And as I play this shot with lots of bounce, lots of soul, I'm trying to keep my head nice and high. And that is the shot that is so easily done. So there is proof of just how hard this shot is. I'm going to give myself another go at that, but it's a fail for shot number three. But you can see it's so sandy underneath the ball. Let's give this another go and see. Almost like a bunker shot, the way I'm opening up the face. There we go, just that nipped sound, that is what you're looking for. And believe it or not, that has actually gone inside the circle of trust. Why is golf so easy the second time around? <laughs> but that first one where I kind of chunked it, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That sandy shot is one of the hardest in golf, but second time around when I've managed to just nip it, it's, I'd be very happy with that. Let's move on to shot number four. Okay, shot number four. Out of position here, in some rough, but I'm also on a bit of a down slope. Now, I'm quite happy I've got my 60 degree on a down slope because the rule of thumb, as soon as you're on a down slope, you'll notice that that de-lofts the club because the slope is pushing you down the hill. So to counteract that de-lofting, we want to loft up to the maximum that we have in the bag. Now it's lying okay, and I'm just looking to pop this up and let it release to the hole. So it's my kind of standard little chip shot. And that, I'm pleased to say, is in the circle of hope. Three from four, not bad. Let's do one final shot. The opposite of the downslope, the upslope. 
This is a really difficult shot to control because the slope is playing and altering the trajectory at which the ball is going to release. And that can make judging the landing spot really hard and then how it's going to release quite difficult to judge. So if you come around, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cope with this situation to hopefully gain a little bit of control again over my golf ball. When the ball's on the upslope like this, our body is being sort of thrown through gravity in that direction. And the temptation is to want to counteract it and go in that direction and get all your weight kind of leaning into the left hand side driving into the hill but the problem with that is it's going to pinch the ball it's going to come out firing really low and really fast and in a way that's not easy to predict so instead what i want to do is get my knees my hips and my shoulders running parallel with this slope notice on all of these chip shots how my feet are nice and close together i'm never setting up to a chip shot with a really wide stance so my feet are nice and close together and i'm i'm just feeling my weight ever so slightly mirroring in my knees my hips and my shoulders this slope and i know because it's on an upslope it's going to come out quite high so i'm just going to allow for a little bit more distance to compensate for that clipped it off perfectly and you see how it's stopped actually really quickly the brakes of this golf ball because it was on the upslope have gone on really quickly so there was no release on that golf ball whatsoever and I haven't landed it far enough on the green sadly to get myself inside the circle of truth in fact I'm probably eight foot outside it so but the strike was really good it just lacked distance so there we have it I've achieved three out of five in the circle of trust now something I was taught by a performance coach Dave Allred in the past was instead of going to three out of five if you've got the time which we don't always have sadly today i don't have it is you can go till how many until i get five in the circle rather than i got three out of five so so far i've got three how many until i get five in the circle and then you always achieve the task and that can leave you feeling really great and give you confidence before you go back out onto the golf course so that's my little fly on the wall chipping exercise i hope it's been insightful for you thanks again for watching please subscribe if you're enjoying this content and we'll see you next time around And I'm going to keep my weight on my left hand side just ever so slightly. Straight in the hole. <laughs> that is a brilliant blooper. We've got to use that as a blooper. <laughs>